Hello everybody and welcome back to Coombe Valley Campers. Today we have a brand new product, the Coombe Valley Campers VW T3 or T25 rear bed platform that works with a Rusty Lee full width rock and roll bed. We're going to be showing you what it is and how to assemble it. So today we're going to be showing you all about this bed platform, we're going to be unboxing it and showing you all the component parts. But if you want to skip all of that, head to this time below where you go straight to the assembly stage. This is the product all finished and packed, and this is how you will receive it. We've gone to great lengths to design this box and have this item packaged just for you so it arrives perfectly in one piece. It is all in the elements that you need. We have all the ancillaries like the hinges and screws and everything in this little box on the end. And if you don't get to catch this video, or you just want some reference to hand, we've printed out some instructions for you as well. So I think the next stage is, let's get all this unpacked, lay it out, show you what we've got, and then we'll start building. So when I say we went to great lengths in terms of um, packing this, there's a couple of things we wanted to achieve. One was that we didn't want to use a load of plastic um, because there's a lot of packing stuff here. And secondly, because it's quite big and heavy, um, we wanted to, make sure it arrived to you in one piece. And I did kind of get inspiration from uh, how IKEA wardrobes were packed. Um, so yeah, we've had all these different elements packed and what the box will provide is, if you don't have a nice surface like this, the box itself will provide a nice surface for you to build the item on. Um, the item itself, the actual whole bed frame itself um, can be built inside the van or on a workbench like this. Um, it's designed that way. And the written instructions will show you what it looks like when it's being constructed. But for the purpose of the video, we have decided to do it on a workbench because, well, it just looks a bit better, doesn't it? So there's your box full of bits. We've got the smaller items out. We're gonna move this large bit out of the way. And these parts here, this is the large opening lid and your two side compartment lids as well. Super. So give me a second, I'm gonna allow this out and then we'll walk through every single bit. So in the accessories box, we have three pick and mix bags and four bits of wood. In bag number one, we have basically all your fastenings and fixings. We have T20 countersunk screws, wood screws, that are designed to put all your pieces of wood together. We have a series of M6 bolts, four countersunk and four dome headed. And they are used to fasten the hinges onto the lid. And in bags two and three, you've got your left and right hinges as well. The four bits of wood are for the lids, for the side storage compartments, and they are labeled L and M, and we'll cover those later. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do then is attach the backboard to the first of the two sides, and the backboard is labeled part A, and you know which part it is, because it's one of the longest pieces in the kit, and it's got these machined grooves in the panel. Um, part B, there's two of them, just very simply slots either side. And I've labeled them rear 
and the rear being closest to part A and mainly because we need the holes for the hinges as far back as possible because that's where the hinge is for the lid. So I've got my T20 bit with my screw and I'm going to attach from the back. Next part is part C. Again, there's two of them, and these are the outermost supports, and already you can see the size of the piece. This is quite a big bed platform. And they attach in exactly the same manner. Use your supplied screws. Once parts B and C are in and installed, you can go ahead and fit parts D and E, which are, well, they create the lip in which the rusty lead bed sits on. There's plenty of screws to hold them on all the way along the, the length of it. However, I'm just lining a few up first, just so they're in position and I can go in afterwards and do the rest of the screws up. The reason we've done it in that sort of order is because if you're constructing this within your van, you're gonna to wanna to be able to slide this platform all the way forward, almost hanging out the boot lid, and you need these elements in before you screw on that, those pieces. Um, with the holes in at the back. Then, and only then, you can slide the bed platform all the way towards the inside of the van and put this front panel on. Now this is part F, arguably my favorite piece, mainly because it's got the Coombe Valley Campers logo engraved into the front there. Um, but that's how you can tell the front. The back has got the recessed grooves in and they fit up perfectly with your already installed pieces. Parts G and H make up the rear platform and the stopper or the ledge that the lid rests on. Um, before you go ahead and screw this onto the actual platform itself, flip it over, line up part G with the pre-drilled holes and get it all screwed in. Once installed, flip the lid back over. Make sure your back corners line up perfectly. And you can go ahead and screw all of your screws down into the pre-drilled holes. The hinges that will arrive with the kit are labeled left and right. So not much to get wrong there. Um, they're sprung, which is gonna make the lid a lot easier to lift up. The fixing supplied are M6 button-headed Allen bolts. And that's the kit you get there with nylocks and the washers as well. And it's pretty simply a case of threading each bolt through the holes putting a washer on the other side with a nut and tighten them all up. The Allen key you will need is a H4, size H4. And to do up the nut, you'll need either a 10 millimeter socket or a 10 millimeter spanner. When tightening up the bolts, if you can just make sure that the top edge of the hinge lines up nicely with the top edge of the ply. So we're going to take our countersunk bolt, line it up with the slot on the hinge, 
and have it in the utmost position of that slot. Washer, nylock nut, and do the same for the bottom one. Once you're happy, head over to the other side and then we'll do them all up tight. Before you tighten all the fixings up fully, make sure the lid is at the top of the hinges. So not lowest point, highest point. Put your spanner on and tighten up. I'm just gonna tighten up one bolt each side so far. And then once the side lids are on, we can make the adjustments from there. So I'm happy with that fit and finish. However, I think it needs to go back, but I'm not gonna do my final adjustment until we've done the two side bin lids, and we'll do that next. So the side bin lids are labeled K and J, and all we need to do is literally screw these two parts. You've got two different elements. You've got one, with the curve on and one that's straight. And they're basically to keep the lids in that space without moving around. We're gonna put the straight one at the front, the curved one at the back, and fix them down with the supplied screws. And there's the box completely put together. The only thing we've got to do now is to adjust the hinges and we can move the lid forwards and back on the top hinge, top part of the hinge, and we can move the hinge up and down on the side nuts and bolts. So have a good fiddle around until you are completely happy with the fit. What I'm aiming for is to keep the front as flush as possible between the lids on the top of the box. So all this lid needed was just a slight adjustment to make the front edge flush, and I'm pretty happy with it. What we're gonna do now is transfer you over to some earlier footage we filmed of the unit itself fitted in a van. And this is what the finished article looks like in a vehicle. Now, you may have seen this van on more than one video. We did a build bio on it, we've done a van tour, we've actually installed loads of different bits and pieces. And I think we covered that slightly, but it was a prototype version. Now here it is, all fully finished. This is the first working item we have made. And we really like it. First things first, I will show you how it fits with the Rusty Lee Rock and Roll bed. Now we have all this beautiful upholstery that was done by David Powell Upholstery next door. I'm gonna go round the van, you stay there. I'm gonna unclip these belts. and it's as simple as that. The bed is now completely flat, in line, Ugh. and we have a whole platform there and ready, and it's the right height, and it's no messing around. And what the bed does, it sits on a ledge down here. If I can maybe bring you in, Ali, you can see that the ledge that we installed, it's the piece with all the holes in, that is down there, and the actual bed, Ugh fits on that edge so yeah it's a really nice piece so what I'll do now I'll whip this cushion off and we can show you the article in its raw glory so we have those coach bolts that's the only real visible hinge fixing you'll be able to see and then once the actual lid is up completely up you've got full access into the engine bay. Now what we've done for this vehicle, we've actually put another layer of sound deadening in there that's easily removed. And again, that's one of our Dodo Mat products. And the engine hatch is still fully accessible. You've got storage under the back there as well. So you can maybe put breakdown kit, socket set, jacks, 
wheel chocks, whatever it may be, stuff that you want accessible when you're working on the engine. And then this main section here, you know, it's big enough for fold out tables, fold out chairs even. In this vehicle, we've actually installed a light right there. So when it comes to working on the engine, you still can. The engine hatch is still very easily removable and very easy to put back in. And there's none of this faffing around. We were thinking about putting drawers in, but we wanted to keep it as simple as possible. And just having a nice big area to store your stuff, we thought was best. And that's it. And what we've got on the sides, we've got these lift out doors. And again, you've got two other areas there that can have breakdown kit, essentials. Um, you know, we've got a spare auxiliary belt in there as well. And they are, ugh. all in there nicely. We've put in the finger holes as you've seen, and that's it as it is. It's, it will come to you flat packed or built, or you can collect it here. It's entirely up to you. But what we wanted to do is show you this item completely done, completely finished, um, and installed in a vehicle. We really hope you like it. And there we have it. We have the completed rear bed platform to fit in your VW T3 or T25, whichever you want to call it, that is designed to fit with a full width Rusty Lee bed. It's made of 15 millimeter high quality ply. It's CNC'd locally, designed by us at Coombe Valley Campers and made by you at home. Thanks very much for watching and we'll soon be complementing this kit with some more furniture coming soon. Bye bye.